about Sarma Bricks, we are looking at the LEGO Star Wars set 75362 Ashoka's uh, Thanos T6 Shuttle. So as you know, it was released uh, last year. It is pretty good set, having good value. And the one downside is the back of the wings. But if you have another set or uh, you are not interested in this spaceship from Star Wars you could use instructions from Rebrickable by Burger Bricks and create a B-Wing Mark II which is the one right here so I have just recently purchased the another set without minifix and I, I was looking for something else to build and as I do not have any B-Wings in my collection, I found that this one. And what is really great about this that, uh, of course, it comes with a little stand to hold your uh, B-Wing uh, because it is quite heavy. Uh, the, the wing part itself, I will show all the features soon, but this leaves you only around 50 pieces that are left out of building this one so basically it consumes all of the pieces from your original lego set so take a look at this one so uh, i will link uh, i will put a link in the description for the rebrickable model but anyhow this model is is really nice so it is quite sturdy i need to admit that uh, you can move it around nothing will happen at least i was playing a bit and nothing has happened so it is really good built and what is different from ashoka stanos t6 shuttle is that both wings are perfectly studded and with details so that is really great so what we do have of course b wings as such need to have their fight position uh, the compromise was made here that uh, you need to open up those wings separately so it means that you need to raise this wing and you need to raise this wing Th this wing is attached to the this plate uh, dark red one so it is a bit more difficult to release it and yeah unfortunately this happened but it's minor thing to fix and this is the first time i'm getting this trouble so let me fix it it's easy fix and let's see now it is the position that you would like to see this uh, ship of course it is not standing uh, the way that you would like to okay maybe it's a problem that i didn't notice before but it could be that uh, these connections are not enough if you want to place it on the ground in that position let me try it again with uh, two hands so i would be able to examine this yes unfortunately th that is true you cannot put it uh, like this or like that it will break apart but you could hold it uh, one-handed and have this uh, fight position so it, it is quite swishable of course these probably should be modified a bit in order to have those stronger hinges uh, applied yeah maybe this could be actually a workaround to be done okay i will see if i do have anything but uh, probably this is the thing that could be considered uh, to uh, change it to other type of hinges uh, the ones that has uh, six or nine positions in it so this could be solving this issue but in fact uh, position it looks really good and uh, it is still overall the ship itself is, is sturdy so really great so let's move those wings to the regular 
position and let's look at what we have so let's begin from the cockpit area so it is turning around uh, 360 uh, there are some some minor difficulties when turning the full uh, round probably it is getting stuck somewhere i don't know but as you can hear there is some some loose things also what is a bit uh, annoying that as you can see this uh, cockpit is a bit loose and if you would try to uh, rotate it from this angle uh, it has that latency a bit seems that it is not connected to very sturdy at this point maybe i don't know something needs to be added uh, in addition uh, the back of uh, the cockpit uh, turns uh, separately so uh, it has nothing to do with the main cockpit rotation of course in the cockpit we could have one uh, minifigure uh, sitting so it's according to all the rules for the spaceships so yeah so what could be improved i guess uh, some things could be worked out uh, with the cockpit itself but it's okay uh, overall it, it is good but yeah in order to have a really sturdy thing i would guess that would be uh, a good thing to do so visually it looks really good we do have all the necessary details we do have uh, some guns attached to it and yeah the guns at the back uh, right here also uh, we do have some engines uh, it's really okay engines I'm, I'm happy with end result and basically yeah it is quite big if we could compare the original uh, ship as you can see in length it is much bigger but of course it, it is not uh, that wide so uh, it, it's smaller ship just it is uh, a bit uh, longer so which, which one of those you would prefer I would say this is absolutely different model and it and it, it is really hard to believe that you could be build a B-Wing out of uh, Thanos T-6 shuttle. The t this is really crazy. So thank you, Wordker uh, Bricks, for creating this uh, awesome model. And if you are looking at this video, a uh, few recommendations is regarding the wings itself uh, maybe some additional parts could be added but of course then you couldn't say that it is alternative model yeah I, I totally get it but yeah for those folks that would be uh, having and building this one uh, keep in mind that you would be considering to look at the uh, wings that are being expanded uh, for the fight position so maybe those different hinges and then to keep it in position and probably something needs to be looked upon the cockpit area to make it much more sturdy and, and just uh, get rid of this looseness that uh, we see here. Anyhow, it's really great looking uh, Star Wars ship. And I was really happy to assemble it. It was easy process. There were no difficulties at all. Just a few hours and it is done. So again, thank you, Burger Bricks, for doing this awesome ship. I really hope that LEGO would release any new uh, B-Wings in the nearest future. And for now, let me know what you guys think about it. If you have I found another alternative builds or mocks with the uh, Ashoka Stanos T6 uh, shuttle. Let me know in comments below. Yeah, maybe I could take a look uh, there as well. So anyhow, thank you for watching. Do not forget to press subscribe and see you soon, guys. Goodbye. These are my bricks from the future. Sorry to spoil the video, but here I managed to find a fix for the cockpit so what i did i added a small uh, technic uh, piece 
in between it is a bit squeezed in here but it does the trick there is no wiggle anymore i can show you so here is cockpit uh, back in the place and as you can see it moves perfectly so that is the fix i guess that was needed and uh, i'm really happy with what i did of course uh, if that would be a lego group they would prob probably would uh, sue me for doing this illegal technique but oh well it works so why not so this small piece saved the day so if you have in the spare ones just put it where i showed and at least this issue will be gone again uh, thank you for watching till the end see you soon guys bye